All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Taurus Zodiac sign. Before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. So take what does and uh, leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable. So energies can cross, and if you need to, please put the energies that best resonate with you. So let's go ahead and get the... <clears throat> oh, my voice trying to go out, y'all. <laughs> Let's get the overall energy for uh, Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. Thank you. Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Taurus, thank you. All right. So the three cards that popped out is past life relationship, let go of control issues, and attraction. So guys, if you need to, feel free to fast forward. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. Let's clarify. Past life relationship, please, for Taurus, zodiac sign. Thank you. Thank you. One more, please. Past life relationship for Taurus, zodiac sign. Thank you. Let go of control issues for Taurus. Clarify. Let go of control issues for Taurus, please. Clarify. Let go of control issues. Thank you for Taurus, zodiac sign. And I have two more, please, Spirit. Let go of control issues. Thank you. Let go of Thank you. All right. Let's clarify uh, attraction for Taurus zodiac sign. Thank you. Clarify attraction. Thank you. One more, please. Clarify attraction. All right, guys, give me a moment. Let me pull the uh, messages here. All right, let's start off. So the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is your overall energy. And what this is basically saying is that you are... Okay, you're thinking through a lot of things, okay? So you're using your intelligence, you're using your intellect, you're not leading with the heart, you're leading with your mind. So you're thinking things out before um, acting, okay? You are, you're also very guarded. This is that guarded energy, something you've mastered, okay? It's kind of like a protection for you, where you're not um, just like opening up uh, like completely to someone and just allowing them to uh, come in to enter your heart or to uh, mess with your emotions or get to know your emotions, emotional side uh, quickly, okay? Uh, let's see here. The first card we have is past life relationship. You have known each other before, all right? So let's clarify this. We have the Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the World card. So again, here you are. It's communication, okay? So I feel like you're communicating with this person, uh, but this is also the, the defense that you have up, okay? This is being um, being cautious of how you're moving forward, okay? And then the Nine of Pentacles is telling me that you're someone that's in your singles energy because this is that singles energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who knows their worth and knows what they have to offer, all right? This is um, this is someone who has stability, okay? So you probably have your things together, your life together, your house together, um, and things like that. And then the, the world card. This is you kind of overcoming and triumphing over anything in the past, okay? This is like a new beginning for you, a new cycle beginning here. Let's see here. Let's see, we also have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Let's clarify here. We have the three of pentacles, three of wands, and king of wands. So, of course, this is you working on something. Three of pentacles. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's like you working on something here. It's not, it, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be love because I'm, I, I see attraction. 
we'll see okay but this here is telling me it's like you may be working on some type of business okay this could be where this um queen of swords energy is coming into effect as well because we have the three of pentacles the three of wands and the um king of wands and with the three of wands this is like you waiting on something to come in like this is you being free as a bird and you putting in work and then you're watching it pay off with the ships riding in like ships coming in with your money ships coming in with your progress ships coming in with your um your growth okay and then the king of wands is telling me you're in your entrepreneurial type of energy okay this is that i'm living life loving life okay i'm single but i enjoy having somebody by me but i'm also about my business okay so this is just telling you this situation that you are pursuing as far as finances okay whatever's going on financially your job business life whatever uh let go of the control issues i get it you want to see progress probably a lot faster and a lot quicker and a lot more than what you're seeing but uh, you got to kind of let go of that control issue and just kind of let it happen you're putting in the work you're allowing the work to happen and just be patient and um, your ships will come sailing in towards you um let's see here we also have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so to clarify that we have the page of pentacles knight of cups and queen of cups okay page of pentacles is like an unsureness okay about you or a, a sureness unsureness ugh, if i can get it out an unsureness about a situation okay with the page of pentacles here but a page also is like good news coming in a lot of times this is financial again i feel like you're focused financially so what's happening is the more you are focusing on your finances and your growth and your situation and things like that the more attraction you're bringing in towards you okay uh, because we have love offerings coming in this could be one energy but this could be more than one energy because we not only do we have the knight of cups and that's like a love offering that's quick, that's fast, that's ready to come in, has something to say to you. But we also have the Queen of Cups, which is like um, love that's going to come in and that's going to be committed, nurturing, caring, and things like that. Um, so you're attracting energy here, okay? You're, uh, you're attracting the energy. So just kind of enjoy the moment here is what they're telling you. Just enjoy the moment fully. Let's see. Let's see if there's any energy... I feel like this is more of like a business reading, although we have the attraction and past life relationships. So you may have someone that's communicating with you with the Page of Swords, or you're communicating with someone. And what's happening is they see you being successful, okay? You could be doing something and they're seeing it, and it's catching their eyes, and they're like, wow. Hey, um... Hey, Taurus, you remember me from um, high school or something? like? It could be something like that, okay? Let's see. Let's see if we can get the energy of this person. Clarify the energy surrounding Taurus, please. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Taurus. Clarify, yeah. Clarify the energy of the person surrounding Taurus, please. Ooh, okay, yeah. Four of Wands, okay? Four of Wands is celebration, marriage, okay? Happiness, ceremony. Uh, commitment relationship so yeah this, this energy this person is very strong very confident leo energy knight of pentacles here someone ready to come in with an offering to you something and this is like the slower energies that's coming in so this is someone who's um could be financially stable okay this is someone coming in with good news and this is that type of energy that's uh good and 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 has um long-term benefits with it all right so whenever this person does come in they're definitely going to come in with this commitment here with the higher fit so they may be coming in ready to propose to you ready to be with you ready to claim you snatch you up Taurus. they're seeing you again it's a past life relationship so this is someone that you've known before someone that you've been aware of okay someone that has that you that caught your that you caught their attention before when they come in all right but this also if you want to look at it that way if it's not a person this could be your energy overflowing into this deck as well and this is your your strength your confidence paying off and then your payout 
of your hard work, okay? Your hard work that's coming in. It's slow, it's it's coming in, but this is your commitment. You're committed to your finances, okay? If it's not love that you're looking for, we'll see. Let's pull, let's pull one more because I do have the four of wands here, and I feel like that's someone coming in. Clarify one more, please. Clarify one more. Yeah, okay, so this is... Yeah, this is someone that you're, it's, yeah, you're not going to expect them to come in. You, you guys, I feel like y'all have been through something before because we have the nine of wands here. So this person has been through some troubles and trials and tribulations in the past. And I feel like when they do come in, they're going to be free as a spirit, all right? They're going to be free as a bird, free as a spirit, and they're going to be ready to come in towards you. And when they do come in, they're kind of going to just be like taking it by the day just kind of um walking into it with no thought none of that okay but again i also feel like this is your energy that's pulling through this deck so if you don't have a love of a person that's coming into your life i just feel like this is a financial reading <laughs> but and, and, and it's i think it's your energy that, that's really just hitting me in the face right now this could be you as well, okay? You putting in the hard work, your hard work paying off. Whatever this job or, or new idea or new whatever is going on, it's going to pay off. As long as you stay committed to it because the Hierophant is here. This could be your hard work, all right? You still putting in work. You're not giving up. You're still pushing forward. You're still allowing it to go forward. And you're going blindly. You're not even thinking about it. You're enjoying it. You're like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm committed to it. I don't, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but I'm making it happen. I'm going to learn on the way. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Let's see. Anything else? Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else that you would like to say to Taurus? Clarity to your advice. Anything else you would like to say to Taurus? Yeah. Perfect. Anything else you would like to say to Taurus? Clarity or advice? Yeah, see, look at there. Yeah. Solar plexus chakra. We have the manifest card. And we have the win or lose card. My goodness. So solar plexus, of course, is self-esteem. Okay. This is this is your self-esteem. You are in tune with yourself. You know your worth. You know what you have to offer. You know what you're doing. All right. Nine of Pentacles. You know you're the S H I T. Okay. Manifest. That's what you're doing. You're manifesting your hopes, your dreams, your desires. You're manifesting what you want in your future. Whatever this business is, whatever this entrepreneurial thing you've taken on, you're manifesting the heck out of it. We have the win or lose situation. This is having conversations with people, letting things go that no longer benefit you, okay? This is going to be a win or lose, all right? Either people are going to be on board with you and they're going to cheer you on, or you're not afraid to lose them in, in the battle or in the... In the leveling up, you're like, hey, it's either you going to win with me or you're going to lose and without me, okay? Either way. Let's see if there's anything as far as soulmate deck here. Anything else, any other messages that you feel that Taurus needs to hear? Any other messages that Taurus needs to hear? I just don't feel like it's a, yeah. The more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. See? I don't feel like this is a love rating. The person you're in love with is yourself. Is how I'm feeling. Yeah. Stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. So if you are criticizing yourself, you're fine. It's okay. It's going to be okay. And then on the bottom, look. Adventure awaits. Go find it. It's okay. You got this, Taurus. Keep pushing. Keep going. You got this. Keep going. All right, guys, if you are still interested, don't forget, I am doing the drawing for the Good Tarot deck for this Friday. Uh, the in the way to enter will be down in the description box below. I don't know why I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.